guys, welcome back to another product review. So this is one that I've had in one of my Target beauty boxes, sitting around for a while, waiting to be used, and I found the perfect occasion to use it, so may as well review it while I use it. And this is the 10 over 10 Rose Polish Remover Biodegradable Cloths. So I think a couple times in the past I've definitely used nail polish removing cloths. I have not reviewed them because I think it was before I was reviewing products on YouTube but I mean in general yeah this is not like a totally brand new concept but I think these are like the first eco-friendly ones that I've ever had the pleasure of trying I have not used them yet so I went on their website just to like get an idea of their brand and of their pricing things like that and I am shocked <laughs> They are an expensive brand, dude, for a brand that's sold in Target. I'm kind of surprised. Uh, they're definitely one of the higher priced brands that's sold there. Um, one pack of eight of these cloths will cost you $10. $10 for eight cloths. Let that sink in. That is crazy to me. Or if you want to buy them individually, you can buy three bucks a pop, which, how the hell does that make sense price-wise? But, 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 always a but. They do make liquid nail polish remover that's like traditional, obviously still with the same formula, but it's just liquid and you use it the same way you would any other nail polish remover, just dip a cotton ball in it and use it. Four ounce bottle. $12. Like, I'm sorry, but I'm just speaking for me. If I were going to spend $12 on nail polish remover, which still seems steep, but I mean, it is eco-friendly, so I get it, but if I were going to blow 12 bucks on nail polish remover, I would definitely go for the bottle versus 2 bucks less and only get 8 cloths, because 8 nail polish removals? Versus however the fuck many you get out of a bottle, which is a lot. I find, for me personally, a nail polish bottle, or not, not nail polish, not, nail polish remover bottle lasts me a really long time. Even the smaller sized ones. So, spending 12 bucks on a bottle makes way more sense to me than 10 bucks for only getting to do 8 times. But, I guess it's just the convenience factor for the gal on the go. I mean, I get it, but for me personally, that would not make sense. But if it does for you, that is fantastic for you. So, these are acetone and paraben free, which you don't see that too often with nail polish remover. I mean, I've seen some acetone free ones before, but usually they have acetone. It doesn't dry out your nails, you can use them anytime, anywhere, no harsh odors, and they're non-toxic. That one right there, that's news to me. I don't think I've ever seen a non-toxic nail polish remover before. So these are seven by six inches for one cloth. I'm like, oh, that's bigger than I was expecting. So, these are also biodegradable, which is fantastic for the environment. Let's see here. For external use only, do not ingest, despite being non-toxic. Good to know. <laughs> I mean, it's never a good idea to ingest nail polish remover anyway, but, um, you know, good, good to know. Uh, keep out of reach of children, avoid contact with the eyes. Why the fuck would you be using it near your eyes? I mean, I guess if it's on your hands and you touch your eye, I guess. Oh, all right, fine, but, um, let's see here. How to use. Hold cloth on top of the nail for 10 to 20 seconds to help break down the top coat and make polish removal easier, then wipe upward to neatly remove polish. So, basically the same deal you would with a cotton ball. Repeat as necessary. Wash hands thoroughly after, if immediately reapplying polish, as the excess oils from the remover can affect polish adhesion. Which, also just like a normal remover. So far, it's not rocking my world as anything crazy different. It's just a bougie nail polish remover wipe. Uh, we've got propylene carbonate, water, polysorbate 20, glycerin, aloe leaf juice, horsetail extract. I beg your pardon? <laughs> Explain. <laughs> um, rosemary leaf extract, rose hips fruit extract, neroli extract, er, 
wait, neroli flower oil, sorry, soybean oil, tocopherol, caparyl glycol, potassium sorbate, sodium benzoate, phenoxyethanol, all natural fragrance. Okay, so it'll probably smell really good because of the rose. Okay, let's get it open. I really should have brought over some scissors. And then I realized there's scissors right next to me right after I actually get it open. I suck. <laughs> so, okay. Ooh, that does smell really good. It smells just like rose water, which I suppose is exactly it. It doesn't feel very damp. It's actually, like, very dry feeling, surprisingly. And it's not like this has been sitting in my stash for frickin' ever. This has only been sitting around maybe since, like... I remember which box it was in maybe since January or February so that's not that long so this is what it looks like unfolded it's textured with little bumpies all over it kind of reminds me of those KFC wet wipes but just saying smells a hell of a lot better so we're gonna start with this thumbnail I mean I've been wearing the same janky chipped polish for weeks on end here it's time to take it off but I've been meaning to do this review, so I've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. So. Oh, wow. One swipe and it's got- holy crap. Alright. Damn, now I wish I'd used it with like a dark color, but holy crap. That worked really well. <laughs> Damn. Again, one swipe. Dude. Alright. Okay, maybe $12 for the bottle is definitely worth it for this stuff, because holy shit, my just run-of-the-mill average nail polish remover does not this cleanly and quickly take off my polish in one sw- Oh my god, this is amazing. Damn. Damn. Alright, I'm gonna have to make a note to myself to potentially pick up a bottle, because I don't want to spend 10 bucks on the wipes, admittedly. But, for the bottle, oh my god, if the liquid works as well as these, that is insane. This hand's done. Holy shit balls, guys. I'm amazed right now. Like, really? Uh, okay, that's the first one that didn't do it in one swipe, but that's okay. There was more on that one. That's okay. That's okay. I also didn't wait as long, that's on me. They got a lot of it though. There we go. Okay, there's like hardly anything on this one, so I think I could, yeah. I was like, I could just like touch it to that one, it'll be gone. There was like a speck left on that nail. I am so freaking shook right now. Oh my god. And admittedly, even with all my little nicks on my cuticles and things right now, and hangnails and things, it is not burning in the slightest like a traditional nail polish would. I am so effing shook. And given that um, traditional nail polish remover is probably one of the most toxic things I use on the regular, probably might not actually be a bad idea to invest the $12 into a bottle of this stuff, really. Like, oh my god, especially for as often as I do my nails. I mean, granted, a lot of the nail polish brands I use are still... The highly toxic ones, but I mean, at least the remover won't be so bad. <laughs> uh, maybe eventually I'll become more enlightened and upgrade all my polishes to more eco-friendly ones, but right now I think I'm about half and half with the ones that are and the ones that aren't. Okay, that one I didn't wait long enough. Dude, I am so shook right now. And it smells so good, and I'm not getting the tiniest bit of a headache or anything from it. This is amazing. Well done. Oh my god. And we've got all our little bits of nail polish on the cloth, but dude. Like I said, I'm fucking shook. Granted, this seems like too large of a cloth for that, but that's because I have itty bitty little short nails. Imagine if I had long, gorgeous nails. This cloth would be covered right now. I am sure of it. So, my goodness, okay, would I recommend this? Holy crap. I would say if you can justify spending $10 on eight cloths, yes. But I personally would still 
just speaking for me, I would opt for the traditional bottle version of it that's two bucks more, just because I feel like you'd get more bang for your buck. I don't use nail polish remover outside the home. I'm hardly really going anywhere anyway, so I'm just like, for me, it doesn't really matter to have it be portable, but oh my god, that is incredible. Whatever you're doing at 10 over 10, keep doing that. That is amazing. Anyway, <laughs> I think for the wipe version, because I can't speak fairly on the liquid one until I have it in my hands and have used it, but at least for the wipes, I'm going to rate it a 4 out of 5 only because of that price tag for how few you get. If you got more of them for that price tag, I would give it the five because the way these work is absolute magic. I am so amazed with that. I did not expect these to work that well and to not smear onto like the edges of my nails or anything like traditional nail polish or removers do. I am so shocked, but oh my god, this is so nice. I definitely want more of this in the future, but like I said, that's the liquid, but anyway. That is it for me, so you guys know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. Uh, if you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload, leave comments down below, make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything and more, it's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, until next time, bye-bye.